So I have here a very interesting special book. It's a not common book. It's not so easy to get. It's called Emek HaMelech. Literally, it means the Valley of the King. And in this book, it, this, that was the, the one of the first writings, teachings of the Kabbalah of the Arizal that got to Europe. The, 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 the rabbi that wrote it, his name is uh, Rav Niftali Herz. But uh, he was learning from the students of the Arizal in Yerushalayim, in Sfat. And then he went back to Europe, Frankfurt, Amsterdam. And uh, there he was in Poland. And there he was uh, writing his book and teaching. And that was the majority of the, of the knowledge of the Ashkenaz Kubalim for the Kabbalah of the Rizal was coming from that, uh, from that line, including the Ramchal, probably. The, one of the main sources of this book is the Ramami Pano, but he was also a student of the Shlach Kadosh. The Ramchal in Amsterdam, the Holland. Anyhow, there is a, it's a, it's a big it's a big ocean. This book it has like tremendous amount of information and knowledge. So I want to to take like a few pieces from now, uh, from time to time, to give some inspiration from this book. Okay. So after the that is going through like some uh, say, saying saying sorry for different things that uh, he cannot say and so on. He says that there is a very very special soul that is the soul of Mashiach Ben Yosef, and he understands that that soul of Mashiach Ben Yosef was actually related, got connected with his father, his, his, the, the father of the author. And, and he, so he understands that he's coming from, from that lineage. He's continuing the, the part of the work of Mashiach Ben Yosef. And that's something very interesting. We know that Mashiach Ben Yosef is the, the main focus of Mashiach Ben Yosef compared to Mashiach Ben David is that Mashiach Ben Yosef is part of the world or before the revelation, right? Mashiach Ben David is the revelation itself. Mashiach Ben Yosef is the world that comes before the revelation. So he understands that his writings, his teachings is part of that war. Yeah? So that's his approach. That's, that's what he's coming to do. When, when he's coming to, when he's teaching, when he's writing, he's coming to continue the, the war of Mashiach ben Yosef. Obviously the goal is to get to the revelation, which is Mashiach ben David. <coughs> and he says that you have the, we know that before the Arizal, there was Rabbi Moshe Kordovero, the Ramak, and the, that was like two worlds of Kabbalah. The, the Kabbalah of the Ramak and the Kabbalah of the Arizal. Within the Kabbalah of the Ramak is included all of the Kabbalah of the previous generation, before, until that generation. Yeah? The, the Ramak was like the last one of that line, and that from there, from, from that generation, started the Arizal. The Arizal and the Ramak were like overlapping one another, and then from there on, there's the continuation, which is the revelation of the Kabbalah of the Arizal. And obviously, it's not, it shouldn't be a contradiction. Yeah, many people, they understand it's a contradiction between the Kabbalah of the Ramak, the Kabbalah of the Arizal. But actually, it's not a contradiction. Which it's a continuation of that same revelation. Right? The Arizal didn't come to contradict the Ramak. There is a few points that he was explaining differently, right? But that's not, that's not the, the main thing that he came to do. He came to continue the, revela the revelation, to open the gates of the wisdom of the Kabbalah. And, and basically that's what he's doing as well. The, the book of Emek HaMelech is continuing from the next generation, students of the Arizal, and he brings it 
further on, that, that was the whole continuation, that he came to Europe, the students, the, the, the Baal Shem Tov, the, the Vilna Gaon, the Ramchal, all of those great Mechubalim, uh, <coughs> they received this Kabbalah. And they had also the Kabbalah of the Ramak, also the Kabbalah of the Rim, Ariza. Anyhow, um, I don't want to take like too long with it. We need to move to the to the halacha of the of the melicha. But I want to say that for me, that's what I'm doing is also continuation of the same the same line. To to continue to continue the to continue the, 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 the that that uh, revelation, which is involved also within the wars of Mashiach ben Yosef until we have the merit to be elevated to a level which is the revelation of Mashiach ben David, which what is that, is that we are working for. What's the war? The war is war of, of, the, of, the, of the consciousness, the war of knowledge, of the state of mind. That, that, that's, that's my understanding, that the war is not, is not physical war of like swords or weapons or something like that, or yeah, Artillery, it's not, it's, not, it's not about that. It might be that some of the wars will get to be manifested in physical wars. But the main part of the war is not, is not like that. Like, like we think about wars like ships and bombs and this and that. No, it's not, 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 it doesn't have to get to, to, that, to that way of, of, of uh, manifestation. The main, the main war is the, where is the hearts and, and understanding of people. The war against the chitsun. Everything is included within that. The, when, when, whenever, whenever, whenever you watch uh, any news, so you put yourself in a war zone. That, that, like all of those, all of those powers, they're trying to take over your, your, your mind, and to implant in your mind all kinds of thoughts, all kinds of ideas, all kinds of, no, of desires. Because the so to, be, to take your mind. <laughs> to to be able to go to, to go around this world today that is that it's so like overloaded with information and messages and this and that information to go through that with faith with connect yourself to Hashem with the Torah all of that that's a, that's a war it's a, it's a, it's like it's really a war why you see in the Kabbalah <coughs> kind of uh, I don't know how to say it in English for, the, that, uh, for me the Kabbalah is the only way that anyone can win this war uh, if, uh, if somebody if somebody is trying to, to win this war and all, all the weapons he have is, is like just, the, just the, the Mishnah and the Gemara and the Halakha I think that it's not enough in our generation the war to free your mind this it's not, it's not it's, I wouldn't say to free your mind I would say to do the Tikkun to your mind we need we need to go through a process of tikkun in the individual, every individual, and and everybody together, the whole world. Why is this only with the Kabbalah? I mean, it's, um, because the, because the Kabbalah is dealing with the inner aspect of our being. It's not only like physical. You ha- you cannot do this. You cannot do that. You have to do this. You have to do that. Yeah, this is external. But the Kabbalah is dealing with the, what's what's behind it. What what is the, so what how, is the heart? So how is affecting <coughs> your mind? When someone is not only learning Kabbalah, is also practicing the Kabbalah with the meditations and so on, so then is a, is is the idea is to penetrate into the heart, to bring the knowledge the, from the mind and to bring it into the heart. And when that knowledge comes into the heart, it it re rejuvenate, rejuvenate and and restructuring to get to the right tuning of our heart and to build it to rebuild it in the in the right way that that we can go through this world go through this life with and still hold to the connection to Hashem and that's a that's a big challenge but that's a, that's what we are here to do and I will finish with that point that many people they feel very frustrated when they feel that they failed their task, that uh, they didn't manage. But the, the, the point that, you, you, that we need to understand is that it's not, it's not about what have been in the past. 
In the past, I didn't manage. So it doesn't mean anything about the present. The, the challenge is within every moment of the present. So whatever happened until now, even if you feel that you didn't manage until now, the fact that right now you became to be more aware and you, you want to connect, you have that desire, you have that yearning to connect to Hashem in the right way, to apply to all of this knowledge, this is winning the war. This, that, that desire, that, that you have that desire within you, this is winning the war. So, Bezrat Hashem, if Hashem will give me the, the strength and the time and all what I need for that, that's what I hope to teach in, uh, in all of those uh, different ways, classes and books and uh, courses and everything, whatever Hashem is helping me to put out. And Bezrat Hashem, I hope that uh, more and more people will get inspired and get connected and that everybody will help each other to elevate. We are we're here to help each other and with the help of Hashem, it will all come up to please Hashem and the, the, the whole world will be elevated and inspired and connect to Hashem, Bezrat Hashem. Amen. Amen.